Hello there. My name is Pastor Alan Hughes from Word of Faith Christian Centre here in Port Elizabeth. My scripture this morning is from Hebrews chapter 5, verse 14. Solid food is for those that are mature and who through training have the skill to recognise the difference between right and wrong. The writer of the book of Hebrews here is getting perplexed because his readers were not growing in faith and it was their fault. He went on to say in verse 12, you have been believers for so long now that you ought to be teaching others. Instead, you need someone to teach you again about the basic things of God's word. You see, milk is a wonderful thing if you're giving it to newborn babies, but it's not for adults. And the writer to the Hebrews draws this conclusion in verse 12 and 14. You are like babies who need milk and cannot eat solid food. For someone who lives on milk is still an infant and doesn't know how to do what is right. Solid food is for those that are mature who through training have the skill to recognize the difference between right and wrong. Being spiritually mature helps us to determine right and wrong on our own. We can think more clearly and see what is good and see what is bad. See, it appears in, in these days that such thinking is not encouraged. In fact, we're discouraged from using words like right and wrong. But when you're spiritually mature, we don't have to accept this type of distorted thinking because the Holy Spirit will train us to recognize both good and evil. God wants us, in fact, needs us to grow up in our faith because only then we'll be able to be able to determine what really is his will for our lives. So I hope that you'll be blessed this morning because if you're looking for uh, maturity, if you're looking uh, for a way to grow in God, then here are four quick points which can help you when you're trying to know what God's will is, when you're trying to seek an answer. Firstly, make sure your thinking and planning is in line with God's word. Secondly, seek out mature Christians. Go to your leaders, ask for their advice, get their counsel, talk to them. Thirdly, check your motives. Are you doing and planning something that you want? Is it, is it a God idea? Or is it a good idea? What does God want? Thirdly, pray. Pray that God will open and close doors as he chooses. I hope that's helpful to you. I hope it's encouraging to you. May I wish you the best day and the blessing of God over your life.